In today's video, I'm gonna be showing off all 48 CDL operator skins, as well as the 12 new CDL team camos. These are absolutely magnificent, and you should definitely stay tuned. So uh, what's up guys, it's here here by Nino Work Watch and it's been quite a minute since I've been here on the channel. I was away in Cali, but as of last night, I'm finally back on my setup and ready to record some videos for you guys. I know I gotta make a video on this Tracer Pack Insert Coin Mastercraft, but this might just be a main channel type of thing. But for today's video, we got some very special store bundles to show you guys. In order to find them, you have to go all the way to the bottom of the Call of Duty store. And as you guys can see here, we now have CDL team supporter packs for the year of 2024. And these are the team packs for Atlanta Phase, Boston Breach, Miami Heretics, Carolina Royal Ravens, the Gorillas, LA Gorillas, LA Thieves, Minnesota Rocker, New York Subliners, Optic Texas, Seattle Surge, and Toronto Ultra. And what's special about these bundles is that not only do they come with operator skins uh for the teams which for Atlanta phase here looks very clean because it's red and black but every team also has a camo associated with it and keep in mind this is twelve dollars for every single bundle I think in the past they've actually been ten dollars so now they made them two dollars more pricey which is kind of weird to me also comes with a decal for the team for 2024 weapon sticker weapon charm emblem and calling card and I was thinking hey since I care about you guys so much, I was like, why don't I buy every single freaking bundle here and show you guys how the camos look like? And then you guys can decide for yourselves what the top five best are. Because from the camo previews here, you can't really tell how the camos are going to look like on guns, which is kind of stinky. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and cover as much of the bundles that I can. Uh, let me know what you guys think about these team bundles. Do you hate that they're $2 more pricier than in the past uh, or what? But yeah, without further ado, make sure you guys drop a like in the video, subscribe, and turn on those post notifications. Apple Store Bundle videos here pretty often, as well as more so Warzone gameplays as well. So if you're interested in store bundles or my Warzone gameplays, then go ahead and stay tuned. But I'm going to go ahead and cop as many of these bundles as I can and show you guys what they're all about. Anyways, let's rock and roll. So yes, I've bought every single team bundle for you guys for this video, just because I really want you guys to get the full picture here. And that was around $140 to $150, which is pretty crazy. So I hope you guys really show a lot of support to this video, but let's go ahead and look at the male skins here. So here's how the left side, the home skins are gonna look like. So uh, in my opinion, the gorillas look really good this year because of that dark purple really surrounds the, the operator a lot. Also the London Royal Ravens or the Carolina Carolina Royal Ravens as they're known now. Minnesota looks good. Seattle Surge looks okay. LA Thieves is all black, so in case you want that, Toronto Ultra, Miami Heretics, and then there's the default one. So that's how the male home uh, looks like. And if we want to see the female, uh, you got to go over here to the female home. And here is uh, Boston Breach, Atlanta Faves, La Los Angeles Gorillas, Vegas Legion, Optic Texas, which is all right. Uh, Royal Ravens also looks get good again. Minnesota Rocker. Depends if you want to like stand out or, uh, you know, obviously stand in. Depends how you want to look, but pretty cool skins if I say so myself. And now going to the away side, here's how the male skins look like. So here's Boston Breach, Atlanta Face, Los Angeles Gorilla. So instead of the the whole like like color and black, it's more of a color and white sort of combo as you guys can kind of see here. So I would say the home skins are probably a little bit better in most of these situations, but this LA Thieves looks nice with the red, white, and black. Toronto Ultra could be a little bit better, and then Miami Heretics. And then going over to the female skins, which I believe are right here. Uh, here's how the female skins look like, in case you're curious. And yeah, it's just nice to see these skins always return every year, especially because uh, the skins are pretty cool, but I think more people are gonna be interested in the camos, which is now what I'm gonna show you guys. And uh, these camos, I think they're better than last year, so definitely uh, stay tuned right here. Okay, so if you want to check out the new camels that you got by buying all these bundles, you go over here to the special section, and they're gonna. And if you bought last year's skins, they'll just be known as the name of the team, but no year after it. And if you guys want to see the the bundles for this year, the camels for this year, I'll have 2024 next to it. So comparing last year's Atlanta phase to this year's Atlanta phase, this one's definitely a lot more bright and a lot more apparent and looks kind of clean. Let me know what you guys prefer. Do you guys prefer last year's Atlanta phase or this year's Atlanta phase camo? We also have Boston Breach with this very clean black and some shades of green. Kind of wish there was a little bit more green personally, but that's just me. And it could look different on different blueprints as well. Here we have the Carolina Royal Ravens from this year, which is all right. Could 
could be a little bit better. Uh, but I definitely preferred last year's with London Royal Ravens is that they can't use the same color scheme because London has the red, white, and blue going, whereas Carolina, it has different colors. So kind of a missed opportunity there, which kind of stinks. Uh, here's LA Gorillas from last year, and here's LA Gorillas from this year. And I really like this year's just because it's a darker purple. It really screams at you, in my opinion. I like the little shades of black there. Uh, but last year's was really clean, too. But I really like the defining look of LA Gorillas 2024. So this is probably uh, a good one to rock right now. Here's last year's LA Thieves camo. And here's this year's LA Thieves camo. Personally, I like last year's a lot better just because it stood out more and was more brighter. But I can see some people liking the minimalistic look of 2024 here. We got Miami Heretics here, which has this all like green and orange sort of combo, which is kind of clean looking. And then we have Minnesota Rocker this year, which is kind of eh, in my opinion. We got New York Subliners from last year, and here's Subliners this year. I definitely prefer the Subliners camo this year. Just shows a little bit more of their yellow and black, which is kind of nice to see. Optic Texas this year is how it looks like. And here's Optic Texas last year. Uh, let me know what you guys prefer. I don't know. I like that it's more green because we don't have too many green camos in the game. So I think this is better than Boston Breach's camo, but that's just my opinion. And then we got Seattle Surges. I think the number one camo here is definitely going to be Seattle Surge just because of the way it looks. He's got that nice little thundery glow and it's definitely going to be the number one camo I would recommend for you to buy if you were to buy any of these bundles. And then here's Toronto Ultra from this year and Toronto Ultra from last year. And honestly, they're very similar. So it's hard to say which one is technically better, but I do like this one because it kind of stands out a little bit more. And then here's the Vegas Vision or Vegas Legion 2024 cam, which also looks pretty sweet. I don't have a comparison for last year, but I think it looks pretty nice. So let me know. What do you guys think? I would say Seattle Surge number one. Toronto Ultra probably top five as it always is. And I also really like LA Gorillas. So I think those would be the top three. LA Gorillas, Toronto Ultra, and the Seattle Surge because they, they go kind of crazy. And I'm sure some of you guys are wondering how the decals look like. So here's Atlanta Phase. Here's Boston Breach. Here's Carolina Royal Ravens. Uh, moving on, we got LA Gorillas and LA Thieves. We've got the Miami Heretics, Minnesota Rocker, uh, New York Starbliners. Optic Texas. As you guys can see, a lot of these decals haven't really changed much. Seattle Surge is kind of light and nice this year. And then we also got Toronto Ultra and the Vegas Legion. I believe that is all of them. But they're not too different, but you'll find some key differences between this year's and last year's decals. And so to end things off, of course, I got to show off the Campbells in-game. And we're going to be starting it off in order that I was showing them off in. So, of course, we got Atlanta Phase here first, looking very clean. A lot better than I thought than in the preview screen on the Gunsmith menu. Next up, we got, I believe, uh, Boston Breach, which the green really stands out, which I really like. I just wish this gun was, like, entirely green. Would be really nice, but we'll give that to Optic, of course. Next up, we got, I believe, the Royal Ravens, which, like I said, I really prefer last year's. This year's is just not, not, not hitting it for me, but I can see some people like this sort of style as well. Here we got the LA Gorillas, which looks really nice in the hot purple, hot pink kind of vibe it's got going on with the, the shades of black. Really love the, the whole radical look of this gun, or the camo. It's, it's incredible, I should say. And then, of course, we got, uh, what is this, LA Thieves, I believe? Once again, not the biggest fan of this one. Uh, last year's was definitely a lot better, but hey, you might end up liking this one. Who knows? Uh, next up, we got here the Miami Heretics, which honestly looks a lot cleaner here in game than it did in the gun script menu. So this one's definitely probably a top five for me, maybe like edging out four or five. Uh, next up, we got uh, Rocker, I believe. It's okay. It's nothing special, but it's nothing terrible either. It's like all right, you know, for the colorway that it's got. Next up, we got the New York Subliners, which looks really nice with the black and yellow. I love the iron sights and their whole sort of like graffiti look going on. I just, I don't know, it's, it's a nice camo. Not my top five though. And here we got Optic Texas. Looking nice. I just wish once again, it was like more of a solid green. Like I wish the green from the Boston Breach could have been on this, which would have been a lot better. And of course, here we got my favorite, uh, Seattle Surge. Just that nice little watery, thundery blue on the gun. Looks incredible. And I just had to check, make sure if it glow or, glows or not. It doesn't technically glow, but you can definitely see it in like darker areas more than some of the other camos. So I guess it's like a, a minimal glow, but it's nothing crazy, uh, I would say. And of course, we have Toronto Ultra. Toronto Ultra is like always good every single year. That pink, purple with white camo combination is just too op and then we got vegas legion which it's whatever in my opinion it could be a lot better but some of you guys might like it 
And I thought that I would end the video by letting you guys know what my top six favorite camels are. The top three being the top three and the bottom three being my honorable mentions. Honorable mentions go to Atlanta Phase, which actually ended up looking a lot better in game than in the Gunsmith venues. New York Subliners, it's super, super nice and clean, just not enough to be top three for me. And then also Miami Heretics. I love the combination of the green and orange. It's just super unique and not something you really see in too many camos. And then my top three favorite camos in uh, least favorite to favorite is gonna be Toronto Ultra. It's just a very great looking camo and you can rely on buying it almost every year because the color com combinations, coordinations are just amazing. So that's number three to me. Number two would be LA Gorillas. I love that hot purple, hot pink sort of vibe, like I said before, and the whole sort of like radical rebellious look. And then my number one is Seattle Surge. The Seattle Surge just like blows everything out of the water. But those are just my favorites. Obviously, you can love any of these camos. And obviously, you don't got to buy all of them. Just buy a couple that you like here. And hopefully, this video helps you, uh, you know, kind of find out what you ended up loving. But if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys drop a like, subscribe, and turn on those post notifications. It really does mean the world for me. And you tune into some of my other videos, whether it be the store bundle videos or the Warzone gameplays. I swear, I'm going to be trying to be entertaining for you every single day here on the channel or every other day whenever I upload. But thank you for being the best audience ever. Hopefully this video helped you and uh, keep being amazing. I really freaking love you all.